Hello guys, today I want to talk about Laravel API and Laravel API eloquent resources and should you reuse them or create a new resource each time. For example, in your project you have categories, categories for something and for one API endpoint you need the list of categories, just all categories and then paginate it, for example for managing the categories, right? Then for editing the category you need to have a show API request, API endpoint and then you would use the same eloquent API resource and then you would have a drop down of all categories for for example products and you need to choose the categories so you get all the list for the drop down and you would reuse the same eloquent API resource which just returns some data that you need formatted however you need for example hiding created ad and updated ad and stuff like that is it a right solution or not let's discuss in this video and by the way, if you're not that familiar with Eloquent API resources or APIs in general, you can take one of my courses. If you go to laraveldaily.teachable.com, I have at least four courses about APIs. So there is a specific course about Laravel API specifically, which is this one, how to create Laravel API. It's quite an old one, two years ago with Laravel 7, but still very relevant because since Laravel 7, nothing changed in API. But then I used API in other courses while creating, for example, Flutter mobile app with Laravel API. So that was a practice of how to create the API. And then the same thing, Vue.js 3 with Laravel 9 with API. And then the last one, same with React.js and Laravel API. So you can take one of those or subscribe to my yearly membership to get all of those courses and more. Now let's get back to our API resources. And in the database, we have a list of fake categories. And if we launch that with Postman, for example, slash API slash categories, you get something like this. So ID, name and description formatted exactly as you provided here. And for example, in the table of categories, you need to provide description in a short format. So description may be really long, for example, like this, and you need to show only 50 characters. So of course you create that in the Eloquent API resource and reuse that here as category source collection. But then if you reuse the same category source for showing the category for edit form, then you may forget that the description of the category is shortened to 50 symbols. And then if you forget that, you download only 50 symbols for the edit form and then someone would, for example, update the title of the category and wouldn't even notice that the description is shortened and that shortened description would be saved to the database. So you would save only 50 characters to the database, which is obviously incorrect. And then the third example for the list of categories. For example, you have a separate routes API for lists categories like this. And then in the postman, you would launch lists categories. That's how I prepared that, which is fine. But in the category, you don't need the description. You just need ID and name. And then you download too much data just for the sake of reusing the same eloquent API resource. So that's also not the best case. And I've learned it myself over the practice and actually bumping into those problems. In the past, I tended to reuse the Eloquent API resources, but at some point I switched to a different philosophy, which means individual API resources for individual API endpoints most of the time. So what I would do, PHP Artisan make resource category show resource or category item resource or something like that resource and then categories list resource or categories drop down resource or whatever you call it categories list resource let's put out those and then in app http resources you have this and i would probably rename category source to categories resource let's try to rename it and let's see if php storm renames everything everywhere okay so categories resource here and then controller is also updated great thank you php storm you could probably even create a subfolder like app HTTP resources categories and then three files inside. But let's continue with the path that I've chosen. And in the controller, then you have different rules for different API endpoints. So let's open categories resource and let's copy and paste the rules into other API resources, but with some changes. So for categories list, as I mentioned, we need only ID and name and we don't need any description. And for category show resource, we need to not shorten the description, which means we just return this description like this. And then in the controller, 
you use specific resource for specific API endpoint. So this stays the same. For show, we use category show resource. And for the list, we use categories list resource. And then when we launch the endpoints from Postman, API category stays the same, but categories one will return the full description and then lists categories, which is the API endpoint for the list would return only ID and name. This is in my routes API like this lists categories. And this may sound like bad practice of not reusing the code, but think about it. It's much more dangerous to reuse the code which would be not suitable for individual situations. Imagine in the future, future developer would try to edit the list in some way and would accidentally break the old endpoint created by some other developer in the past without even realizing that it's broken. Of course, it should be covered by automated tests and catch that, but you never know. So over the years, I've changed my opinion. I was trying to reuse the same API resources just because of reusable code practice, but I've bumped into more issues with that and changed my mind into creating eloquent API resources individually for each endpoint. In most cases, if you perform any significant transformation like substring, like showing hiding the fields and similar. What do you think in your practice? Did you have that experience or that problem? Maybe you would vote for reusing the API resources. Share your opinion in the comments below and let's discuss. That's it for now and see you guys in other videos.